This is Hunter Marshall with Liquid Agency sharing with you a perspective on how to extend your brand presence and your brand experience on LinkedIn. A little bit about me, I'm the head of strategy based up in Portland, Oregon, and I've been working for 15 years on everything from large global brands to startups, everything in industries from technology to tacos. Wanted to start by sharing a recent survey that LinkedIn conducted among what they consider hyper growth small medium businesses. They surveyed about a thousand of these in last year in November and found that they're using them not just for lead generation but also for branding. And the key concepts we want to share with you today are how you can take a brand experience approach to your activities on LinkedIn. We want to start by talking about your brand experience. The first thing is to identify what is your brand and then think about what is the desired perceptions, the experience, the way that people think and feel about your brand and how can you communicate that on LinkedIn. Even in a controlled environment like LinkedIn, in something that is branded very strongly, there's still a great opportunity to extend a brand presence and a brand experience through the medium. We'll look at this through our filters at Liquid. We're a brand experience agency, so we look at how brands are created through the lenses and the filters of product, culture, service, and the overall customer takeaway. From a strategic perspective, Liquid looks at our purpose as being advancing business. It's what makes our heart beat a little bit faster when we get up in the morning and think about coming to work. We want to make a positive impact on our clients' businesses and in the world. So that's our purpose. We suggest that every brand needs to start from its purpose, its reason for being. We next develop the focus that we want to have. In Liquid's case, it's the brand experience. We want to have meaningful and effective brand experiences at every touch point. And third, our difference. What makes us different? Not just the focus on brand experience, but really what we call Silicon Valley thinking, which is a very innovative and iterative approach honed in Silicon Valley with startups that takes the input from multiple disciplines works very collaboratively, very quickly to create prototypes, adjust, refine, test, and get out in the marketplace before the competition. So that's our point of difference. That's the overall experience that we want folks coming to us on LinkedIn to have. Now that we've established what we want our brand to stand for at Liquid, we look at what we want to accomplish on LinkedIn. Our goals on LinkedIn are to increase our sphere of influence and to learn more about our customers. Taking both a projective approach of what we want to say and the things we want to communicate and a listening approach of how can we use this powerful network to better understand what people want to know about and what they're concerned about. As we look at our four filters for brand experience, and applying them to how we use LinkedIn, we'll start with our product. First, we look at this as an opportunity to showcase our case studies, our creative work, our strategic work, our naming, our portfolio of websites and identities that we've developed. We look at the opportunity to build the service aspect of our brand by providing perspectives on branding to folks who are interested in knowing more about how we think and how people in branding are thinking about current trends and events. We also view LinkedIn as an incredible opportunity to better understand customers. We're paying attention to who follows us, what content that we're publishing that they're engaging with, really learning what they care about and what they have to say, and in some cases being able to engage them in meaningful dialogues. Finally, culture. LinkedIn is a fantastic opportunity. If we think about it as an employer branding site, as we think about it as uh, really being able to communicate what the character and the personality is of the agency, of the, the companies that you are seeking to do business with or perhaps applying for a job with, it really is able to help us tell who we are, 
through who we follow, what groups we start and we join, and what we choose to share. Our LinkedIn presence consists both of a main website, which we have been communicating a lot of thought leadership, our case studies, and about the agency, as well as individuals within the agency. For example, Alfredo Muccino, who is our founder and chief creative officer, also is publishing work through his own personal posts and thoughts that connect back to the LinkedIn main site that we have. Alfredo actually is often more influential in terms of the sharing of his posts and the responses to his posts than Liquid Agency. He's using his personal network to great effect to promote his agency that he started, Liquid, and often has much higher engagement levels than the company site. So one insight that we've gotten was look at who your influencers are. They may not be who you think they are. They might be folks who have high numbers of connections. They might be folks who have high levels of engagement, uh, who have personalities that uh, are well aligned with what your company wants to say. In this case, we have a lot of foams or friends of Alfredo Muccino. Interestingly, LinkedIn offers an opportunity to share your culture, to really reflect your values, your personality, not just by what you choose to publish. In our case, we often write about innovation and we write about uh, design thinking and theories and culture change, but also uh, our fascination with innovation and where it can take root in many places. For example, we recently saw a high response to a post where we were sharing the success that President Obama had when he went on the comedy internet show Between Two Ferns and saw the web traffic to the Affordable Care Act site go up over 45% overnight. So it's a way of sharing what you think is interesting and what you choose to focus on. In one instance, we shared and got great level of engagement uh, by talking about uh, somebody we thought was heroic, a art student who is posting the reactions of hostile and misogynistic viewers to her art projects posted online to try to reveal the dark side of our increasingly anonymous communications, as well as establishing kind of a leadership tone with who we choose to associate with. Uh, the, the idea of sharing a Harvard Business Review article and, you know, again, through the filter of we're interested in innovation, it's something that we, it's not every article we're highlighting with them, but it's ones that we feel like the folks who are interested in innovation, who are interested in us, would be, in, would be interested in and share as well. In terms of how we communicate our product, we have typically used this to promote our clients, our strong work with our clients, in this case, how we've won packaging design awards, and then also highlighting and honoring the client's success themselves. Uh, in this case, Mind, uh, making it uh, to the App Store as a feature. And finally, uh, promoting when we have a significant launch, when we launched PayPal to develop the PayPal Here site. So highlighting your products, but again, the tone that you take and having the clients be really front and center for the most part in the communications talks a bit to our values and our personality as well. Thinking about our services, we have started a group called Brand Experience as an offshoot of our main site. And on this site, we're really focusing in on the definition and the potential and the opportunities to create brand experiences. We're doing this through video content, through written content, and we're also publishing uh, white papers. And in this case, we wrote the Dictionary of Brand. Our Director of Transformation, Marty Neumeyer, in collaboration with Google, has uh, promoted the Dictionary of Brand. LinkedIn is also a great opportunity to learn a lot about your customers and your prospective employees and the prospective partners who are visiting you to better understand who they are, where they're coming from, what they care about, and 
what their hot button topics are. So we certainly look beyond the reach and the engagement levels to understand through the analytics who are our followers. In our case, it's an interesting mix of senior and entry level. Perhaps uh, the senior folks are the prospective clients and current clients who are interested in what we have to say. And the entry level folks are potentially looking for, to us for employment. But what's the real gold in this is finding the things that engage our followers. And one of our recent posts on the Internet of Things and the role of marketing and what happened at the recent CES convention drew many, many comments and interesting dialogue where we were able to engage senior leadership on a number of interesting topics and then have follow-up conversations with them. But the important takeaway for us was that we can now know what's resonating and quickly follow up with further articles or shares or things of interest from around the internet to our followers to better dial in what they're interested in and how we can provide that. LinkedIn really is the most effective tool at our disposal to scale our access to the clients we want. We're a small, nimble, hungry agency, and LinkedIn provides a fantastic opportunity for us to showcase not just the great thinking that we develop here, but also what's happening with our clients, as well as what's happening in the currents of conversation around branding. In terms of next steps for you, we have three pieces of advice. First is to be aware. As I was just sharing with you, we need to be monitoring the topics that are trending with the audiences you're trying to reach. Second, frequency. Be active. Add updates regularly. Participate in groups and join conversations. Finally, be authentic. Make sure that the content that you're putting out there accurately reflects your strategic platform, accurately represents the values of your company. Chances are, if you're interested in it and it's part of your core business, it's going to be interesting to your customers as well. So we encourage you to experiment, identify the influencers that may not be apparent to you at first, but who are really driving the image of your company externally, and harness them as well. Thanks for listening.